Well, hello again. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to start off though with the wave tech on 50 megs, and we're going to be modulating it at 70 percent. We're going to be having an output of minus 10 dBm, and we're going to actually play with two tone generators. Now at the moment you'll see that we're set to external AM we'll just switch it to internal AM and we'll have a look over on uh, that's modulating at a thousand Hertz we'll look over on the spectrum analyzer and we'll see we're modulating center frequency the fundamental is at 50 megs and the two side bands you'll see um, marker number three it's a thousand hertz down I haven't put a marker on the upper one but that is um, a thousand hertz up and we're basically looking at a modulated signal and if I go back to the wave tech and I've changed the modulation from 1000 Hz to 400 Hz and we see the change echoed here that's at 400 Hz modulation that's at 1000 Hz modulation okay so we covered all that last time what are we going to do well last time I also mentioned that I wasn't totally happy with my signal generator so we now have a Siglent signal generator and it is um, calibrated with the external GPS DO and it's proved to be fairly good the difference between output 1 and output 2 happens though to be a phase difference of around about 30 degrees but we'll come back to that later now at the moment let's just um, have a look at our cables well let me just move a couple of cables and plug in the whoops we've got cables going everywhere here folks let's just plug in the signal generator and just make sure that both outputs are on and let's see what happens we've got 700 Hertz on channel 1 and we switch to channel 2 we have got 1.8 kilohertz and remember this is well sorry I hadn't even said it this is for two tone generation and the two frequencies must not be multiples of each other so we also see 30 um, degrees phase shift there so channel 1 and channel 2 are on non-resonant frequencies and if we scroll back a bit here we can see signal generator it's going down through a cunning little splitter combiner and off into the modulation in so let's switch to external modulation which we now see external AM and have a look over here at the signal generator and you can see four peaks there and if we have a look peak number two is 1.8 kilohertz away from the fundamental frequency peak number four is 700 hertz away from the fundamental frequency so that's the difference the two-tone generator you can see lower and upper sidebands of it and that's what we would normally use for testing a transmitter single sideband uh, two-tone transmitter now before I bought the Siglent waveform generator this little devil I had actually built a two-tone generator based on a uh, circuit diagram from the Adelaide Club 
and if we look down past the mess onto the bench there it is, I put my own little picture on it we've got low and high outputs, power obviously output volume um, the balance between the two and we can run 700Hz, 1.8 or both and let's have a little play with that so disconnect that splitter combiner for our modulation and you'll see we have no modulation we will switch on our little device here and lo and behold there's our 700 Hertz again we we'll switch it to 1800 you see the move and we'll switch it to both and there we are all four of them nicely balanced and producing an output that we could toss into the microphone jack of a single sideband transmitter to look at the output wave make sure we're modulating correctly and um, just as it is making sure we've got a good signal so that's the bottom line what we've done is created something that approximates voice and we use it as a, on a regular test basis so there it is thank you very much for listening to me ramble and i hope you like and subscribe this video thank you